Triss could not help Geralt, yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an oneromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. Doppler, the question's never where, but his home. In the past, facing trouble, he'd disappear, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time, this time he hasn't returned. Known do do long. I know this might sound strange, but I can't be sure. It seems he'd been circling me for some time in various forms, trying to attract my attention. Can't blame him for making the effort. Thank you. I failed to notice him at first. Then he decided to shoot the moon, assumed Dandelion's form. What tipped you off? How do you know it wasn't Dandelion? Do you do not much of a singer? No. He simply spoke about something other than himself. We need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he trusts. Dandelion? Irina Reynard's troop, that's all really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings? Yes. I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. He certainly could have counted on the Foxen's help. Hmm. So if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply indebted to him. Dudu and the mummers, how'd they meet? That was my doing. Some opening night. Maxim lay comatose in his wardrobe, drunk as an otter. I thought of Dudu. Hard to imagine a better actor than a Doppler. And Dudu revealed himself to them just like that? I didn't think it wise to tell anyone. But Dudu and Irina took to each other completely and right away. He fell so hopelessly in love with the theatre. That he started performing with you? Yeah. Now Irina feels terribly guilty. They let him put himself in danger. She can't forgive herself. Maybe we could use a play. You know, work a message to Dudu into something. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea, but I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides, do you really think Dudu whiles away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play. From scratch. Something grand. Something that will grab Dudu's attention. So most importantly, it must have a splendid title. It must be the talk of the town. If you wish, we can start on it right away. All right. Guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, I was hoping... The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you and that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence, meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? More or less. That'll do. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know. Lorenzo Moller. A tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide, 
and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better, his beloved. Hmm, what do you think? Sounds great. Really think so? Lorenzo Muller. Yeah. Hmm. Or perhaps not. Wait, I've got it! We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenmond. Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bell sounding midnight. But... At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Pavetta. They want him dead, but at that instant a witcher steps in. And everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You were... Will I get a say in any of this, or have you decided everything already? Why are you cross? It's the nature of the creative process. We toss around ideas and choose the best ones. Meaning yours. Well, you must admit I'm better acquainted with the theatre. Naturally, you'll play a part in shaping this play. Contribute to the work as a whole. Dandelion will explain how it works later. We need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I have some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. I've two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation and A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer? Let's go with The Doppler's Salvation. It's shorter, catchier. Just one problem. No Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Hmm, all right. So it's a comedy. I was thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter... Listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. I think comedy's the safer option. Very well. I must get to work. While you must pick a corner, sit down, read silently, or just think. All right? Fine, since you don't need help with the writing. Geralt, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? Ugh, just keep quiet. Done. I could make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but... We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? Hidden message? You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or... That wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all! You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by his scar. Or just improvising? Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure you know where to find her? The troupe performs in the butcher's yard of the main square. Join us later. See ya. only enter with a ticket. There's no performance now. Is it just rehearsing? Process is interesting to observe, though. 
So, want a ticket? No performance. Said so yourself. You can still get a ticket. What'll it be? Need a ticket? Yeah, one. Here. Just stay out of sight, eh? Awful bashful, these mummers in rehearsal. Oh, what a killer! Well, Madame Marina, can we talk? Geralt of Rivia, Dandelions told us so much about you. Is he with you? No, but I hope to bring him back soon. Here to talk about Dudu. Hmm. Let's speak in my quarters at the back of the theatre. We'll be undisturbed there. How can I help? We've not seen Dandelion or Dudu recently. Dandelion's in trouble. That much I guessed, though I am curious how serious it is. Did he seduce a powerful man's wife and go into hiding? Or did he write an offensive couplet about the priests of the Eternal Fire? Worse. Lots. I'm gonna try to help him. Gotta contact Dudu first. But he's disappeared as well. I have a plan to lure him out of hiding, but I need your help. Can I count on you? Naturally, but what can we possibly do? I want to stage a play, something that'll really draw the crowds. I see. And you hope it'll get Dudu's attention as well, draw him here. So it must be an entirely new play? And who will write it? Priscilla, actually. She's done writing it. Tells the story of a witcher who rescues a Doppler from certain death. Mm. Sounds interesting. I'll gladly have a glance. But first we must think about getting the word out and organizing some protection. Ushers. Would you mind tending to these matters? Think we need ushers? A play about Dopplers could be controversial, but are ushers absolutely necessary? Can't be sure if you've attended many performances, but Novigrad crowds can be particularly difficult. Rotten apples, tomatoes, eggs, that sort of thing? Axes, butcher's knives, and bricks, actually. All right, know anyone appropriate? Try the docks, perhaps. You're bound to find some men willing to do any work for a few crowns. How can I help you spread the word about the premiere? Well, we'd like all the city to hear about it, so we must clearly talk to the Puffins. Who are the Puffins? Street artists. Get them to announce the premiere, and even the muscles on the harbor piling will hear about it. Where'll I find them? They did occupy some rooms in the bits in a townhouse, but I can't be sure they're still there. I've not seen them in the streets lately. They may very well have hung up their body hose. See if I can find them, and if they'll work for us. Thanks for helping. I'll come back once I've found some ushers. See you then. Nice tune. Damn sad, though. Then it successfully conveys my mood. What do you seek here? Looking for the puffins. Have I found them? We've no coin. Leave us be! Think there's been a mistake. Sorry. Thought our landlord had hired another thug to collect from us. Another thug? Flattered. Thanks. Forgive us. You look threatening, and we've had our share of trouble lately. Nisa's on edge these days. We all are. Don't want any coin from you. In fact, I'm willing to pay you, provided you agree to get the word out about Madame Marina's new play. 
Oh, afraid that's impossible. Ever since we premiered our fateful ballad about holy Hemelfart, who his faith ignores, gorges himself, diddles old whores, Fatso's gang has been harassing us incessantly. Fatso's gang? Common thugs in the church's pay. City's full of gangs like that now. They threaten me, sir. Said they round off her pointy ears with a carving knife. They don't let us perform. Chase away spectators, destroy our instruments. Lately they've taken to lurking outside our home. We're at wit's end, no clue what to do. They harm any of you? No, not yet. But it's merely a question of time. Nisa overheard talking about setting fire to something. All right. Say I get Fatso and his boys to leave you alone. Will you publicize Arena's play then? Of course! But you shan't find it easy. There's no talking to that lot. I'm not a great talker anyway. So, look what we got here. Is it just me, or you got cat eyes? Right, he does. Stray cat must have fucked his mum. <laughs> now, what you doing in the city of eternal fire? Catch it. Leave the puffins alone. Worms that insulted our Ark Emelfub, called him an allmonger. I'd sooner snuff out the holy flame itself. Tell them fucking poets to come down here. Shove their fruits up their blaspheming assholes. Yeah, to play a different tune then, every time they fought. <laughs> Showed them. One, two over the back, then pow, right in the noggin. I'll finally be able to leave my home without hiding beneath the hood. Thank you very much. Come on, it was nothing. Oh, it was something, all right. I don't dare think we've forgotten our promise. We'll strip our voices ragged praising Arena's new play. How much will I owe you? Not a copper. Helped us out. See no reason why we shouldn't help you. Get half of town to come to the play. Wait and see. So quick preparations and we'll be out in the streets. <laughs> Till the next. Stage of the play. 
leading us to kick some arse on stage. I actually want you to usher. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked on stage or off. You got the wrong men. Arse kicking's what we do. <laughs> Stand to make more than you do here. Expecting trouble? Well, we need to bust some heads. Can't rule it out. Bricks can start flying. Heard that from a reliable source. Now! Wanna smash some brick layers? Oh, he does, he does! Oh, I don't know me, I'm trouble. <laughs> Give me that coin. That don't fret. We'll be there before any of the uh, dancing stops. Mushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I've very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher and the queen, but I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. Who's playing the Witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him. But I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troupe? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. I'm no actor. Might not have noticed, but I'm a little low on emotional expression. But that's perfect. After all, you're to play the Witcher, not the Princess. Besides, you must appear on stage. Dudu must see you. It's the crux of this entire endeavor. You're right. Just never thought I'd have to do something like this. You'll be fine, dear. You need only strut on stage, great sword in hand, furl your brow, make some threatening faces, then deliver a few lines in a gravelly voice. Think you can manage? So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, I do have more stage experience. Let's have Priscilla do it. No offense, but uh, most people... Assign greater importance to appearance than to talent. I understand. I shall let her know. I'm certain she'll be wonderful. So who do you see playing the Doppler Prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safe bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique, but he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bollier, outstanding actor, and audiences love him, but sadly I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. Let's go with Abelard. I'll take a reliable artisan over an unpredictable artist any day. Rightly so. The project is risky enough without our casting Maxim. All right. Got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? We can start now. Looked over the script out of curiosity. Can start any time, even now. Well, we've no time to lose. Come to the stage. Zoltan, what are you doing here? 
<laughs> Prissy told me you ought to put me on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. No, oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me what you are. You're going to wear hose and a codpiece. Calm, Geralt. You must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you an exquisite comedy. Its title, The Doppler's Salvation. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the queen, Leo Ribe as the humble servant, appearing as the prince, a veteran of the Novigrad stage, Abelard de Ritza. And as the princess, the lovely Trabaritz with the voice of a nightingale, Priscilla. Majesty, the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. But first, some wine to steady my hand. <laughs> Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. Her monster shall show a tonight's feastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows. Your reward you'll receive on my finest pillows. To slay beasts most foul, twas for this I was made. I kill as my calling, not just to get paid. He swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Ah, oh, my child will pity her love, this beast. Though at least, ere he goes, he'll enjoy a last feast. Gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day, the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. Perhaps midst the guests he hides, in fear. My dear, Long have we hid our love's tender fires. Months we've restrained our loins' hot desires. <laughs> Tonight shall it end. Be my wife, that's my plea. That having said, <laughs> I'll get down on my knee. Oh, darling, I will, I will, I will. Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. T -t 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 Treason! Tis not wine, <coughs> but a brew spiked with silver. <gasps> My bowels contract a foul beast to deliver. <gasps> hark, hark. Tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. Seems men's hearts can love, for changelings foster. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword, let fly the killing stroke. Stop, stop, beast or man, tis my love, my betrothed. Shades. Fear a Doppler? Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, 
Tis not flesh a monster makes. But a heart that is base, such as in this knave aches. Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk, and its moral is this. No monster is he whose shape can shift. The Witcher is just, a true Doppler's friend. But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. Guard! Call the guard! Remove the traitor at once! Hey, hear the princess's command. Come up here. Come on then, governor. Up you go. On stage. Toss the traitor scum in the dungeon! Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after. Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! Give it a rest, mate. Can't you see it's all in fun? This is a comedy. A ghoul could play the prince. Light it up, for God's sake. Greetings, Dudu. Heard about that souvenir Horson left on your face. So, you know everything? Have you seen Siri? No. Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful! You did great. Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain one thing to me. How do you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Horson, and the Temple Guard all at the same time? It's not as if we planned it. <laughs> Why didn't you find Priscilla or the Mummers? Contact them. I came to a few performances, different shape each time, but I dared not show myself. Feared I'd put them at risk. Then I got word of a new mummy. Saw it as my chance to learn something, anything, about Siri and Dandelion. I know Siri went back to Horsens to get you. How do you manage to escape? I ran after her, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me, entreated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers. But Go down, Marmalade. Hmm. Geralt. When did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full run last by now. Do, do, do us a wee favor. Show us Siri for a moment. Geralt? No, no need. I'll recognize Siri when I see her, sure of it. Oh, uh, uh, I just thought you might want to see. Not angry with me, are you, Geralt? No. I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him, but there's good news too. Menga's dead. Ugh, a fiend. Good thing someone finally killed it. 
though another just as bad or worse would likely take its place. Wouldn't be so quick to assume. Got a feeling it could be a decent fellow. What's he talking about? We think we can free Dandelion. Just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance. Then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenfurt. We'll lie in ambush in a ravine en route. Spring Dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where Dandelion's being held. No one knows Menga's dead. No need to worry about being exposed. No one save you. Would this have anything to do with the fire at the Witch Hunter's barracks? We were in the area. <laughs> I sorely regret not seeing that. Dandelion's on Temple Isle, imprisoned there. You'll need to find out exactly where. But what if they grow suspicious? Start asking questions. I'll bet my best axe no one will pester the commander of the Temple Guard. Besides, you're a Doppler and an actor, and an actor and a Doppler. Could double the spark to improvise your way out of any situation. If things get spicy, you'll just nip round the corner and transform into a buxom wench, a, a jackdaw, or whatever else strikes your fancy. Of course, it's that simple. Thanks. Listen, you'll manage. Everybody believes Menga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lads and me will lie in ambush in the ravine. Geralt will then join us and we'll await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Menga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Guile's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. Yeah, see you in the ravine. Whoa, wait! Hold on! What happens after? I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga, live like Chappelle, burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances? No. Once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemary in time, where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So, settled, let's get to work. You were marvelous. Not a single mistake. The performance in general. What did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. I'm just pleased the Puffins got the word out. That was quite the crowd. You were right to cast Abelard as the prince. It's likely Maxim would have shown up drunk as a fish or forgotten about the premiere altogether. Here you are, your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? At Kaer Morhen. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now. I've worked out quite the other I'm busy. Mm -hmm. Work. Come on. Another one. Run along home with the rest. Sir, show some mercy. We've not got nowhere to go. For us, it's Novigrad or death. That's enough for you, lot. Sod off, or I'll have you skewered. They seem desperate. Let them through. Can't see any harm in it. Fucking hell. How many times have I got to repeat this? I've orders to turn back anyone who don't show a pass. Let these people pass. Yes, sir. Thank you. 
We got nowhere to go back to. Novograd. That's a chance of a new life. Stay off the roads. Liable to run into another patrol. Shan't be taken like that again. We'll be as careful as hares in a field bared by winter. But you, you was cast in a different mold than us. More like the hero that lies in the tomb near Crookback Hills. Tomb's in a cave in a hillside. Down Warren's at the foot of the hill. Folks say treasure inside's a sight to behold. Huge hoard. Might find something that suits you. Good luck. Harsh man. Best not cause any trouble at the end. Let's go! Be so pale if you ain't right. Seems everything's ready. Aye. Soon as we catch sight of them, we'll block the road against a whole unit if need be. And, uh, you, you know, I think it's a great plan all round, uh, and I'm always glad to help. And uh, it's not like I'm not eager to crack some holy of the thou bugger skulls, but seeing as we've got a Doppler, wouldn't it have been easier to have him release Dandelion and, and, and be done with it? Too suspicious. Think about it. Menga disappears, then shows up with a scar on his face to release Dandelion. Uh, I suppose you're right. Priscilla, what are you doing here? Some child brought a note from Dudu. The convoy will leave at dawn. May I stay with you? I can't stand it. Sitting at home, worrying about Dandelion. Never fear, my dear. You'll get your warbler back. Just hope he's got his... Damn it! To watch the rhymes in the presence of a lady. Go back to town. Please, I shan't be any trouble. Oh, come on, Geralt. Leave it go. Let her stay. Look at her, all oh, weepy eyed. Like my mutsy when his guts knotted up. Fine, she can stay. On one condition. I know. As soon as the fighting starts, I'm to stand at a distance. Not much happening just yet, and there may be some time before it does. Well, how about a game of Gwent? Don't really feel like it. You two play. <sighs> All right, you know the basics, that's clear. Now we can play for real. <laughs> They're coming! They're coming now! Priscilla, stay here. Dandelion. Damn it. Help! Go after him! Leave these here to us! Go, go! Shit, lost him. Gotta look for tracks. Road through here. Let's go! are deep. 
horse was carrying a heavy load. through here two men one slung over the saddle like a sack oh I something of the kind dash by turned left there but where a wench you were carrying swear it on me head squealing and wailing so all souls pray greetings good morning started limping. into our hut, turned us out for we could so much as fart in protest. There another man with him, tall, dark-haired. Aye, jabbering the whole time. Hmm, dandelion. So, Hunter's barricaded himself inside. There another way in. Truth be told, there is. Want to get rid of this Hunter or not? Honest? We'd see you all gone. But he'll do for a start. Cellar door around the back. Thanks. And how can I be sure that you won't try anything? I'll go with you. Not like I really have a choice now, do I? There'll be no trickery along the way. I could wring your neck like a fat baby. Yes, but I also realize you won't. My corpse is worth nothing to you. Well, a lot. Like I said, a hundred gold ingots. One hundred gold ingots. No more, no less. Or I'm not Julian Alfred Pankrat's Viscount Galetton Hove. Viscount. Kill more. Everybody calls you dandelion. That, my friend, is what we call... You can have a wise choice. Very wise. Might not be more than a sergeant today, but tomorrow... Quiet! Stop the head. What? No, 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 you see? Me and Gags, we don't... Come on, come close. 
closer. Geralt, must you ruin everything? I had him just where I wanted him. Ah, uh, <laughs> it is good to see you, friend. Been a while since you were last in Novigrad. What's... Come on, we'll talk outside. Priscilla! What are you doing here? You all right? You have me worried sick. Dandelion, you rascal! Got this last to thank for his reason after he is. She chivied and chivied. Shame you arrived too late to see us hoodwink that hunter. I had a plan all set, but then Geralt... Dandelion, I need to ask you something. It's important, so focus. Where's Siri? Siri? I thought, seeing how you're here, you haven't seen her? I'm... Well, I don't know where she is. When did you last see her? We were on Temple Isle, running from Horson's men. What an adventure. One minute we were pulling off the heist of the century, the next we were prey. A pack of hunters on our tail. Yeah, a splendid story, but I think I've had my fill of this boasting. Come, Zoltan. We must convince the halflings they saw nothing at all. 
gave me enough material for a volume of ballads. And this one will sell like hotcakes. Right. Best bits when the guard draped you over his saddle like a sack of corn. Stands to make you a fortune. Time will tell. You're getting to be grumpy in your old age. I'm just... worried. About who? Siri? Have a little faith, Geralt. You have any idea how she fights? The girl can take care of herself, believe me. Anyway, she's got to come back for that little box. The trinket that started it all. Mean this? You get it from Horson? Whoa, Siri will be overjoyed. Horson, on the other hand, has got to be pretty furious. Horson's dead. Ooh, guess you're no stranger to fury either. Well, I can't say I regret the man's abrupt passing. Deserved it as much as he deserved that awkward nickname. What about our old friend, Siggy Reuven? Been to see him yet? He's fine. Oh, that's too bad. Because there's a good chance he's furious with me. Siri ever tell you what this is? And Horson, why'd she go to him with it? She went to Horson because I took her there. Could have guessed that was your idea. What? Her magic bauble was broken. Horson had access to the mages who could fix it. Besides, she needed help deciphering a curse. It's incantation. Know any more about the curse? Something specific, a detail, anything. Hmm. Well, I know the words. You're kidding. No, they were elven. Siri was constantly repeating them to herself. Probably not to forget. Went like this. The file Elaine, Kiadmil Foli. Glad of Dorn Ep tonight, Bundro Isne Iakas. Doesn't mean a thing to me. Even less to me. She slipped away again. I was so close. Hmm. She came here from Velen. Somebody there helped her, apparently. Maybe she went back. Doubt it. Talk to the Baron there. He's the one helped Siri. Said she rode off to Novigrad to look for Yen and me. And Yen's in Skellige, looking into traces she thinks Siri left behind there. So... Skellige? Skellige. You two have chatted enough. Now it's my turn to talk to Dandelion. And I'll gladly have a go at him when you're done. Let's get back to the Rosemary in time. Well, I've certainly had my share of excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with fluffy pillows. I think that's the least I'm owed. We haven't seen each other, talked, in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon. And thanks again for today. Mind not mentioning where you got it. All right. All right. Farewell. <laughs> 